Once the PowerPack license has been added to a user, the Analytics tab will appear underneath the Personal section of their settings. Inside of ZoomPhone Analytics, I'll have two options, Real-Time Analytics and Historical Reports. Inside of Real-Time Analytics, I'll have the option to view by site or by queue, or I can look at all queues. I scroll down, I can see summary information. This would be service level where I can filter the settings and change settings to determine where I'm comfortable providing warnings and critical status alerts on the service level. I can look at calls being uh, currently in the system, so active calls, waiting calls, and calls held. I can drill down and look at inbound calls for total inbound for the day, broken down by completed calls, abandoned calls, calls forwarded to the voicemail, as well as missed calls. Of those inbound calls, I can see the average handle time, the average wait time, and the longest wait time. I can look at member availability and see their status at this given time. Currently right now, I have 22 of the 24 members of all of the queues that I'm looking at in available status. Also, I'd be able to see active calls, held calls, wrap-up period of time that's available by queue for each member after they've taken a call, opt-out, so signed out of the call queue, and other. Down below, I can see call queues where I can drill down into information for each of the queues that are a part of the selection. In this case, I can see 90% service level for the sales call queue, the inbound volume, as well as additional information across to the right. And I can configure this report to include whatever information I'd like to include. Also at the top, you'll see options to be able to select specific KPIs. So what do you track and what do you measure within your users to make sure that this data is of use for you? I can also click on Wallboard, which would give me a web-based dashboard that I can put up on a display or share with other members, managers within our organization to be able to track the most important information. Again, selecting those KPIs that we want to represent on the wallboard. I can also drag and drop the information to be able to have it appear in different sections of the wallboard. I can configure the settings specifically within this wallboard to have warnings for both uh, high level critical status of the service levels. I also can get and filter by site as well as by call queue and all of the same information we reviewed in the live reports. Inside of the historical reports, I have the ability to be able to view a historical period of time. So if I wanted to go back, let's say for the last week, I can view call uh, service level. I can, again, configure the settings within that period of time to be able to have warnings as well as critical status of the service level. I could expand that out to be able to go full screen, to be able to look hour by hour of what our service level was by call volume. I can see call time and do the same thing. Expand that out, be able to hover over hour by hour, see uh, average call handling time, waiting time, and longest waiting time. I can look at call volume, where I'll be able to see information like inbound calls, completed calls, abandoned calls, calls forwarded to voicemail, as well as missed calls. And then finally, be able to drill into those call queues with the same information that we saw on the live reports, clicking in to each of the queues and to be able to see each individual member of the call queue, the calls they've taken, the talk time, uh, and additional information can be configured on the account to be able to view.